really want to have a baby in Arkansas uterus? You're dumb. Brain is never going to go along with that. Eat your corn dog. So I'm on my way home from the post office right now. And I got an alert, a tracking alert, that my 10000 under $10,000 in debt reward package has... Well, it said it had been delivered to the MENA post office. So I went and checked my mail and I asked them to see. And they said it should be in my box at home. I'm so excited. I want my little ring. 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 It's so cool because here's the thing. I spent just under $60 for this ring. And I'm. it seems like a lot of money especially while I'm in like a debt payoff journey, but I treat myself with something like this over, you know, long terms. So these are, you know, every $5,000 I pay off, I give myself a little budget to do kind of a reward with. And every single time, almost, I get to one of these rewards, I end up being able to buy something really nice for myself. And the, it's, a tiny little piece of me in the back of my head is saying you never got to do this before when you were spending so freely because I spent all my money on like useless little crab I would never have bought myself a $60 ring before I started the Dave Ramsey plan not because I didn't just buy things superfluously but because I never like saved up to purchase something nice. Instead, I just amassed ridiculous little things and I wasn't conscious of where my money was going. I certainly had more money to deal with since I wasn't paying on my debt, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like I was broke all the time. And now where I'm kind of making myself broke because I'm putting you know more than 50% of my income at debt, I'm actually able to get myself nicer things and be able to treat myself more nicely even though I have a much smaller budget overall to deal with. I'm spending less money but I don't feel as deprived as I did back when I didn't have a budget have a budget and I was spending just as soon as money got into my hand because I wasn't focusing on where the money was going. So I'm really excited about this ring. I would it, it seems like a ridiculously girly little thing, but every time I look at this ring, I think I'm going to think about how far I've come and how much of a lifestyle change I've been able to make. And I'm just really pumped about it. <laughs> and I think it's going to be pretty, too. It's sparkly and shiny. And I'm a girl, so that's nice. <laughs> I feel like I thought that being on a budget went kind of hand in hand with depriving yourself when I started this. And I've learned that that is not true at all. I think I've learned that by being intentional with my money and setting goals for myself, I'm then able to reward myself for meeting those goals. And I feel less deprived overall and I feel more accomplished, which makes the rewards even sweeter. My ring is here! My ring is here. I'm so excited. Maybe I should turn on a light and not fall over. Okay. Here we go. Another ring. Thanks so much. Tiny little card. The shop, by the way, is called A Wild Violet on Etsy. And the box is so little. It's a little ring. Six millimeter Alexandrite. Alexandrite ring. Oh, so Fourteen carat yellow gold fill. Hammered finish. Ah! Oh, I'm so excited! Look at the ring, look at it. 
better and better light. There we go. Just a, a little reminder of how far I've come and the future I'm working towards. I'm excited. I'm excited and I think it matches. Whew. Long ass day. Sorry I said ass. And again. Okay, so paper is in bed. It's asleep. It's thinking about getting all slutty. It's down. And I've been working for 12 hours, if you can't tell. My mood. I'm on my way to Zumba. I actually, I wore my workout clothes underneath my like big sweater. And so all I have to do is put on my sneakers and my workout pants when I get there. I am only gonna be 15 minutes late, but the paper's to bed early, actually. It's been a long day. I tried laying out the same article twice on the same page. There we go. Yeah. Um, however, I did get a free snack because I didn't get to eat lunch today. One of my coworkers went to KFC for lunch and got a taco bowl. And he eats like a bird. He only ate half of it. And he was like, you want to the rest? So that might be gross, but it's the deliciousest kind of gross. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then after Zumba, I'm going to go to city council meeting um, and probably order some takeout for dinner because it is Valentine's Day and I have my own Valentine and I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> Budgeted, of course. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Chinese takeout. General Tso's chicken made by the pros and lo mein. Yes, yes, yes. I also, as I'm eating potatoes and carbs and considering eating even more potatoes and carbs, saw my friend Kelly's video today if you don't subscribe to Freedom in a Budget, you totally need to go hang out with her. She does frugal living and is now doing weight loss. And she is kind of, she like does Weight Watchers and stuff, but she posted a video today about there's some app called like Diet Vet, or it's a website where you pay $20 into like a pot and then you have to lose like 4% of your weight within four weeks or something like that and whoever succeeds gets their money back plus additional money for anyone who betted and didn't succeed and the best way to motivate me is to <laughs> is to threaten my money <laughs> so I am considering joining up I think I'm gonna do that I'll leave a link to her video below because that sounds like fun they had a weight loss challenge at my office last year and that was really motivating to me and I won even though most of the people who entered didn't actually pay their money so instead of getting like 70 or 80 dollars that I was supposed to get I got 35 <laughs> no if you sign up for something like that you pay the money I don't care you pay the money that's that's not cool so I hope all of y'all are having an absolutely wonderful Valentine's Day. I am going to enjoy it once I get off of, I don't know how many hours that is of work. This is kind of like my dinner break, I guess. And I'm then going to spend the evening with Rory. I haven't decided what we're going to watch yet. I was thinking of maybe trying to find that Sex and the City episode that I was talking about where Sam buys herself a bling ring um, because that sounds good to me to consume television wise and then I'm gonna sleep a lot I'm gonna sleep a lot a lot a lot and then I'm gonna sleep some more I'm probably not actually hungry I'm probably just cramping and wanting carbs um, and I'm gonna be late for Zumba but Sonic has 50 cent corn dogs today so I'm gonna eat one of those just one but I'm gonna eat it and then I'm gonna have to go jump around for an hour and a half so this is probably a very bad series of decisions I'm making but I mean 50 cent corn dog I can't remember the last time I had a corn dog it sounds delicious I mean meat in deep dough batter this is this is my period talking this is definitely my period talking this is definitely my period talking, but this is the best 50 cent corn dog 
ever. Why did why did I stop eating corn dogs? Probably because they're bad for me. But my uterus is mad at me that I won't let it have a baby and it'll be sated with carbs. Oh, so good. So hot. Fed by a friend of mine got married today kind of spontaneously and I'm proud to report that my first response was congratulations I'm so happy for you but I'm a little embarrassed to admit that probably five ten minutes later the thought crossed my mind of all your debt is theirs now and all their debt is yours so yeah <laughs> If you want to know where my head is at, um, it's in a super romantic place here on Valentine's Day. Um, and exactly how far, like, this whole financial thing is embedded in me now that, like, instead of just being like, marriage, yeah, I'm like, money, money and marriage, what? What? I'm scared. Ah. Um, and I gotta admit, I'm like, would I marry someone with debt? I, I would. I would marry someone with debt and I would do this whole second thing again. Hopefully they'd be worth it. But they would have to have the same kind of mental thought process about debt as I would. I get asked this a lot of would you marry somebody with debt. And now there ain't no ring on this finger and I nobody's offering. Okay. But if they were to, I would be okay with them having debt as long as they had the same attitude about it as I do, as in, I don't want to have debt and they're trying to get out of it. So, cause I'm not marrying someone who's okay with debt. That's, oh, no, no. I've heard too many calls on the Dave Ramsey show about couples that don't agree on money. No, thanks. Yep. Bye. Occasionally I get asked like, Sarah, why don't you date or talk about dating? And my answer is generally like, there are no cute men in Mina. They all got married at 17. Um, but I just, there are apparently cute men in Arkansas, because I just saw two. I was leaving this district basketball game that I had to go cover, and they were crossing as I was trying to drive out, and like they, and I saw them, and I appreciated them, and then they looked at me. Unfortunately, as they did that, I, my teeth got like stuck in this apple and there was like a feast coming off that I was trying to save and well that's why I don't date. Ah, see? See? This is a perfectly good apple. 